Hey guys and welcome back. So once again we're talking about upgrading your Zabbix installation to the recent release LTS 6.0 and in a previous uh, video we talked about operating system and what you need to keep in mind, what you need to do, perhaps you need to upgrade. If you have not watched that video I will leave the link in the description but for today's topic we are going to talk plainly about database only. So talking about a Zabbix database, if we mainly talk about a Zabbix server as a software, then why do we need to mention so frequently the Zabbix database? I think we could emphasize this in basically every video and it still would not be enough to say that the Zabbix database, the one where you keep all of your configuration data and your history data, is basically a heart of your monitoring architecture and software and performance of your Zabbix installation strictly depends on on the performance of your database and there could be many aspects like starting with the hardware specs of your database and also ending with simply database version and again if you are moving to the 6.0 from the previous LTS version 5.0 there is a high chance that you were running everything on let's say CentOS 7 and if you Back then, when you installed the Zabbix for the first time, just used, let's say, yum install MySQL or yum install MariaDB, there is a high chance that you're currently in a bad place. Because when you're installing yum install MySQL, you are not installing a database engine from official repository of the database vendor. You're installing what is available on the repository of the distribution where you are right now running your installation, right? And the version might be strictly outdated. So there could be a lot of bugs, a lot of performance issues, a lot lack for a lot of optimizations that you can find in the new recent versions. So keep in mind the database version required for the Zabbix 6.0 is basically drastically changed and let's say if we talk about a MySQL or Percana it's 8.0 the minimal required version if we talk about MariaDB it's 10.5 or 10.6 uh, Oracle 90c till 21c and uh, I know there were some I don't know rumors about that Oracle will not be supported uh, by the Zabbix anymore that's uh, not true Oracle still remains supported uh, if uh, you follow of course the supported database versions Postgres 13 and timescale database for the Postgres 201 till 2.3 and SQLite in case if you are running the Zabbix proxy 335 till 334.x whatever it will be so this is pretty extreme, I would say, if up for today, especially if, you, if you're if you not up to date, I would definitely recommend you to upgrade your database to the supported version and only then think about upgrading your Zabbix installation. Trust me, a lot of performance issues might go away after you will move your database to any of these supported versions. I'm not talking about like uh, MySQL better than Postgres, which is better than Oracle and whatsoever. I'm talking about just using supported versions of all the supported database engines that we currently have. But there is a but, like if if you, for some reasons, I, I really cannot say them, but if you have some reasons why you are not uh, willing or not able to upgrade your database versions to these, in the Zabbix configuration files of the Zabbix 6.0, you will find a configuration parameter that will kind of allow you um, override these requirements and still be able to use uh, Zabbix uh, with all the latest functionality with the version that is older than the one mentioned here as a required software but that is absolutely on your risk and trust me 100 percent a lot of the issues uh, for the performance will be caused exactly by the outdated database version but yeah if you are running some legacy systems and you simply don't have any options to upgrade let's say to mysql 8 you can run something older, just check that parameter in the Zabbix server config file and uh, you will be able to run the Zabbix, right? But again, that's absolutely on your risk. Also, everything remains the same about the clouds. Like if you're willing to use some cloud managed database like AWS RDS or a database in the Azure, you're free to do that. There are no limitations that you would not be able to do that. Just always uh, keep in mind uh, 
the specs of the database resource because in some clouds it is dependent on the uh, storage disk so unless if you have some top tier storage disks you will not be able to get a required performance out of the database so if you're running on a cloud please do the research right and still of course use the supported ones and another important thing about a database of the Zabbix in terms of upgrading to the 6.0 is uh, a new change a new option to add a history uh, to add an on the history tables the primary keys previously before Zabbix 6.0 and any versions there were no primary keys on the history tables and uh, as minimum some sort of replications as example Galera does require to have a primary uh, primary keys on all the tables to configure this replication so if you have a Galera then most likely you have manually added uh, those primary keys but right now if you do the clean installation of the 6.0 they will be present right out, out of the box so no need to do any modifications if you are upgrading this change is not done automatically why? Because, well, considering your database size and database performance, especially the size, of course, of the history tables, such change might require like a lot, a lot of hours and potentially cause some downtime, which uh, would not be good. So you as a longtime Zabbix user after upgrading to Zabbix 6.0 have this change chance to manually execute a database upgrade on the history uh, table primary keys. And as the benefits, you can list uh, here in the blog post, which I link I will also leave in the description. So uh, decrease history table storage size, increase history table query performance, which probably is the most important one. So uh, history tables are one of the most important ones in all the Zabbix system and increasing performance to those uh, will of course give a great uh, benefit to your whole system performance and also like specifically to the performance of the history sinkers. Uh, not recommended when upgrading an existing instance. Well, it's not like it would not be recommended, but just uh, keep in mind if you have like 500 gigs or terabytes of the history data, this change will take a lot of time. So if you decided that you want to add a primary key, I would uh, probably first of all, just do the clean upgrade of the Zabbix server to the 6.0. Uh, make sure that all the, with the operating system is fine. So you migrated, upgrade the database version. And then when everything is settled, so there are no issues, Zabbix is 6.0, everything is running fine. Then you can schedule some sort of maintenance period in your company. Uh, and uh, without a big stress, just stop a Zabbix server if that's possible and run uh, the database change to add those primary keys to the history tables. So that's about it about the databases. We're getting closer and closer to the actual release of the Zabbix 6.0. So if you have any uh, questions left about uh, the topics mentioned, as usually, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys and goodbye.